will be delivered by the uh, director of uh, Sherif Hidayatullah State uh, Islam University rector, uh, Professor Dr. Ameni Lubis. Uh, yes, we are listening to you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Turkey, Turkish Republic. Uh, uh, presidency of the religious affairs for this organization i'm so un unfortunately the sound the voice is not good so uh, could you please uh, correct it arrange it yes uh, when i'm presenting my presentation uh, we, I, I would like to tell you how we, what sort of organizations we make, and and what we did during the pandemic period. Uh, Hajj, as you know, uh, has uh, five obligation uh, is one of the five uh, must obligations, and is a bit hard uh, because the interpreters cannot understand the voice. The link, so the voice is not good. So uh, when we see Hajj organization as Indonesia, Uh, since 1945, in, we are uh, arranging organizations since 1945, and we are uh, uh, trying to maintain uh, the uh, to, to, we are trying to take the precautions for uh, more people to realize this uh, Hajj journey from our country. Uh, when we talk about preparations, I can start like this, uh, especially during the corona pandemic period. Uh, some precautions had to be taken. Uh, there were lots of obstructions uh, in terms of uh, the Hajj duty. The interpreter is uh, complaining about this. The interpreter, the Arab. Turkish uh, interpreter. Voice is interrupted by the link. Almighty, uh, we ask uh, uh, that we uh, we pray that this pandemic will uh, end uh, soon, and uh, the interpreters are waiting for the sound uh, to be checked. The, the Hajj uh, duty is uh, wajib for all Muslims and it has to be uh, performed. It affects uh, uh, the individual uh, spiritually and all the Muslims get together. Uh, it's a very important 
event for all Muslims. Uh, it uh, feeds uh, the, it enriches the soul of the Muslim people. And uh, the feelings uh, important in the religion uh, context uh, are enriched and There is no distinction between the um, races or countries or language or so we are, uh, get together as uh, one body and it's like uh, the same hand, only one hand getting, uh, they, they unite and to perform this duty uh, very important for all the Muslims. Unfortunately, the voice does not come for the interpreters to interpret. There's a technical problem. So there is the wisdom which is important here. The wisdom we take out of this uh, Hajj uh, uh, duty. And uh, profundity of Hajj is important. And in the extraordinary situations, uh, lots of uh, precautions had to be taken. Uh, so unfortunately, the speaker cannot be heard by the interpreters. Please telephone her, says the interpreter from Arabic to uh, Turkish. So the interpreter asks for the summary of what has been said uh, to one of the people who uh, understands the uh, delivery of the speaker from Indonesia. As uh, the distance is uh, very uh, long and uh, very far and as it is uh, full of meshakats, uh, it becomes very hard uh, for the people to go to Hajj uh, and uh, the cultural uh, relations uh, department is, is also uh, providing services uh, to the uh, candidate Hajjis. Uh, also, the uh, non-governmental organizations can support uh, or they want to support uh, this organization. The local uh, committees also give their support in the organization of Hajj. And uh, so uh, we make use of these in the local sense. Uh, when the Hajis are on the way to Saudi Arabia, uh, we have uh, some uh, committees um, 
accompanying them uh, on the way to Hajj. Uh, we provide them uh, services. And we are in collaboration with the Saudi Arabia uh, uh, authorities. Uh, our commissions work together with them in our coordination. Uh, so uh, awareness and uh, having consciousness about the Hajj uh, duty and uh, performance and journey are being provided by the uh, guidance committee and uh, an ac uh, accompanying uh, uh, services uh, committee, the health services I provided. Uh, 450 candidate haji uh, 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 consisting of uh, women and men. Uh, the committees uh, are made up of uh, 10 people. In 2019, uh, haji season, uh, some uh, 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 laws passed the parliament and some decisions were made uh, according to these uh, laws passed, having passed the parliament. Uh, Dr. Amani, Dr. Emani, I'm talking as the uh, president of the session. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are very happy to hear your voice, uh, but there is a technical problem. Uh, there is a problem in the link. We couldn't get your voice. Uh, we would like to thank you for your uh, presentation, Emani. Uh, distinguished uh, Amani Lubis. I read your presentation uh, and uh, the, uh, I uh, uh, go to Hajj for years and I see the people from Indonesia in and uh, since 1990s, I was going to Hajj, and I was uh, uh, I saw many Hajis from uh, Indonesia, and I talked to them. Uh, I know that uh, you are doing uh, very nice organizations. I'd like to uh, congratulate you. You are being uh, 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 an example uh, for the others. Everybody will make good use of your uh, presentation. We are very sorry, but we couldn't get the connection uh, from God. We pray that uh, we would be together again. There will be opportunities for us again in other cases. And now uh, our speaker from Indonesia wanted to start again. So uh, we would like to listen to her, Amane from Indonesia. Uh, the link was uh, could not be connected properly. Now we are listening to Amane from uh, Indonesia. Yes, uh, I would like to uh, greet you with the salam of uh, the. Uh, Prophet Muhammad and Allah. Uh, so thank you very much for this presentation and uh, the presidency of religious affairs. Uh, I would like to thank them for this very nice organization. It's a very big symposium and I hope everybody will make use of this uh, very well. My topic is uh, Hajj and Umrah and the organization uh, as Indonesia, uh, especially in the pandemic period, we have tried a lot. 
uh, and I will tell you what we did. Hajj in Indonesia for the uh, uh, committee of organization and for the uh, Muslim people is very important in Indonesia. They want to go to those sacred land. So uh, before going there, the preparations start here, uh, which are uh, big preparations. First, we start with the candidate hajjahs, and uh, as the administrators in the uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Religious Affairs, we have the ministry for this issue, uh, for hajj and umre, umrah, and we are in connection with Saudi Arabia. Uh, Hajj is uh, one of the five obligation. Every uh, Muslim wants uh, to go to uh, Hajj once in the life. Each Muslim wants to perform this duty. Uh, this is a sort of uh, celebration. And uh, when that month comes, the excitement uh, starts. And if I were, what if I were there, they say. So it is in the heart of everybody. And uh, lots of things have been done. Uh, the processes are long uh, in the preparation manner. And uh, this is done with our uh, ministry. And uh, yes, uh, the, there is uh, an agreement uh, between Saudi Arabia and in Indonesia. I was going to show you a slide, uh, but mm, during the pandemic uh, period, uh, for this uh, Hajj uh, duty, of course, it was uh, everybody's uh, desire to go to draw money from the bank, for example, and to pay for the uh, for the Hajj. Uh, they want to do this. But unfortunately, this uh, Hajj uh, has been stopped in 2020, and the people could not move. And they always asked us, uh, what is, um, how can it be overcome? Uh, what is the secret in this pandemic, and how, when, how we can uh, get over this uh, hardship? So I'm going to talk about some uh, sort of a wisdom, of course, at this point. Hajj uh, feeds and uh, enrich everybody, and uh, it increases the performances without any discrimination of the races, uh, languages, or country. So this is a the place where there is the unity of all people in the world. Because out of the time of Hajj, we are organizing Umrah uh, to, for people to go to the secret uh, land. Every day, we are doing something in terms of preparation. And there is always love to uh, Allah and with Hajj uh, programs we want to create, we want to increase this uh, love of devotion of uh, God feeling in human beings. And the whole year our uh, studies uh, go on, our activities go on, we are always in preparation situation uh, throughout the year. Uh, the scholars are uh, 
researching uh, what uh, we can do in extraordinary situations like pandemic, for example, or road uh, security is important. If the road is not uh, secure, then the person uh, may not want to go to Hajj because there may occur contagious diseases and the person may uh, may renounce, surrender, uh, abandon uh, to go to Hajj, uh, the, the desire to go to Hajj, because life is important. What I'd like to say is that the Indonesian people uh, feel Hajj um, as, uh, let me tell, tell you about the culture now. Uh, in the organizations, in the preparation, uh, uh, we are doing our utmost. Uh, uh, when they go and when they return, uh, they we try to uh, provide them the best uh, conditions when they are going and returning as the administration. Uh, so uh, there are lots of people hearing us, and uh, Hajj is a very important uh, place for all the people who have uh, applied for that. Uh, they, of course, uh, choose uh, the uh, sea, but uh, sea is not very appropriate at those uh, times, at these times, and they uh, want to go by aeroplane mostly. So uh, they also uh, uh, try to uh, put some money uh, to their sack in order to go to Hajj. Uh, there are uh, people who are waiting for 40 years uh, to go to Hajj and uh, to perform this uh, duty. They say uh, we are waiting for 40 years. Culturally, uh, there are uh, commissions, the committees are established, uh, and these committees work for uh, the organization is uh, starting from the first step coming uh, back uh, to the last step uh, they plan everything each stage and there is the guidance committee as well and they uh, provide the security of the edges and uh, the security on the road is provided there are the members, the presidents, uh, the committee members. And there is another committee in Indonesia that is the awareness committee uh, at, and uh, establishing consciousness in Hajj. They uh, tell at uh, every stage the importance of what they are doing. And also we have another committee of uh, health and there are midwives, doctors, nurses in this committee and for the security and health uh, they do they do everything so uh, there are certain uh, differences uh, in Hajj so this is the Hajj regulation committee, and there are some regulations, sub-regulations according to date, and the ministers also make use of some other uh, regulations about uh, uh, groups of people and their distribution. Uh, we ha we had uh, 221,000 uh, hajis, uh, uh, the number of hajis to be sent uh, there uh, are waiting every year. And now 10,000 people are uh, waiting. And elderly people are 10,000 in number. Uh, they are waiting to be sent to Hajj. Uh, we have received lots of um, 
rewards and we are making the cheapest organizations so the uh, starting journey the start of the journey the accompanying persons also are very important uh, only for the Hajis we have determined uh, international uh, airports they are 13 in number uh, so the ones who want to go the, to Hajj uh, uh, are uh, waiting in the queue to go to the sacred uh, land. But during the pandemic last year, uh, what happened? Yes, I want to tell this now. Uh, we observed that they, we tried to fulfill the conditions, the requirements of Saudi Arabia determined. Uh, 10,000 people went to Hajj, but they were already in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and they were re residents of Saudi Arabia. And Indonesia government uh, started preparations for the uh, Hajj season coming and uh, the preparations will be starting from the first step and ending with the last step. So we are waiting for the health conditions to be achieved in the people. This is the fuqua of reality. Uh, so how can we go to Hajj in healthy condition? When we see the Sharia uh, provisions, all uh, segments of the society uh, are obliged to uh, perform this duty, but they should be uh, healthy. And the unhealthy people should not be in the common places. And uh, this is the uh, rule of Sharia. Uh, and especially with, when uh, there is uh, the corona, we have to consider, of course, it is uh, very important. And uh, everybody should obey the instructions the state uh, determines. All these uh, tasks are to be uh, fulfilled uh, for everybody, and we are making some uh, information giving uh, meetings and uh, what happens when you go to Hajj, what happens on the way to Hajj. So what we ask from God is uh, the good conditions, of course, and everybody is there to be uh, close to Allah and uh, to uh, talk about their penitence, repentance. So I would like to finish. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Yes, alaykum salam, doctor, for your presentation.